kulikuwa na nini na sababu je hizo sababu bado zipo nani ambaye tunapigana naye vita leo eh tunaambiwa hivi na watu nimesema watu ukiangalia unafikiri wana akili timamu tunaambiwa hivi tuko kwenye vita ya kiuchumi hii vita ni dhiti ya nani dhiti ya nani tumemtangazia nani vita ya kiuchumi tumemtangazia nani who are we fighting this economic war barik barik ni wa canada au sio eh anglo gold ashanti ya marekani are we at war with americans are we at war with canadians are we at war with the british hii vita ya kiuchumi tunaoambiwa tunaipiga maana ni mbaya kuliko ile nyingine tunapigana na nani haya si maneno ya kijinga tu ya kutufanya tuamini mambo ya kipuuzi tu tangaza vita kama kweli tuko vitani katiba imesema kukiwa na vita rais anatangaza vita halafu anakwenda bungeni na bunge linakaa baada ya wiki mbili linatoa uamuzi wa by resolution ya kuunga mkono tangazo la vita ya rais au kuikataa kwa katiba yetu bunge linaweza likasema bwana rais hatutaki hiyo vita yako kwa katiba ya Tanzania as it is today tulimtangazia nani vita hawa barik eh? akasia alipokuja rais wao yule John Fonton Ah, rais akasema mwanaume bwana amekuja. Mwanaume. Wanaume wamekubali kulipa. Huku mnatuambia tunapigana vita ya kiuchumi, huku mnawaita wanaume. Ha? Wamekubali kulipa kishika uchumba, maneno ya profesa Kabudi. Hawajalipa hata senti kumi. Wameenda mahakamani, wameenda arbitration. Wanatudai bilioni mbili. Hawa wa, wapigana vita ya kiuchumi hawa hawatasema sikuwaambia. Niliwaambia. Niliwaambia. Na niliwaambia. Don't be stupid msifanye maamuzi ya kijinga think before you act fikiria hivi hii sheria mlizotunga za kina kikwete na mkapa za madini zinasemaje juu ya haya makana nini wanaita zinasema ni mali ya hao wazungu mikataba mlio saini nayo inasema haya makinikia ni mali za wazungu na pesa wanazo zi, nani wakisha walipa ile shilingi kwa kila shilingi mia shilingi tisina sita ni mali yao ndio sheria walizo walizo tungiwa na mkapa and for 15 years i was the only voice liyokuwa nasema tumeuzwa hawa kina magufuli hawa hawa kina, hawa wal, walinda rasilimali za taifa hawa walikuwa wapi wakati haya mambo wakati hizo rasilimali zinauzwa magufuli was a cabinet minister mliwe kumsikia Kikwete was a cabinet minister. Mdoe kumsikia. Mkapa was president. I spoke out. Na ushahidi kwamba I spoke out. Nilikamatwa on Christmas Eve 2002. Nikashtakiwa kwa kwa sedition, kwa uchochezi. Uongo ni ule ule. Hawajawahi kuvumbua uongo mwingine. Ukisema mchochezi I lived with that sedition charge for six years. Hawajakuleta ushahidi hata siku moja. Finally hakimu azama ah. 
Biden nilisha sema mimi ah siendi tena Listen Ukitaka kupambana na hao mnaowaita mabeberu Think Don't jump into the water if you can't We have jumped into the water when none of us can swim. Sasa Kabudi amesema katika miaka miwili 2017 to, to, to last year tumefunguliwa tuna 13 cases of international arbitration. Niliwaambia bungeni jamani tumieni akili kuna watu wanaona ni maprofesa profesa hapa na nikiangalia wanaonekana kama watu wenye akili zitumieni wakasema sisi ni taifa huru we are sovereign state and now tutanyolewa kama tulivyonyolewa na wale wajenzi wa, wa, wa bombardier wa. kwenye kwenye uchumi wa leo wa dunia sisi wa Tanzania we are deeply integrated into the global economy. We are part of all of these arrangements. We have signed the treaties. Unapoamua kufanya biashara ya kimataifa unajivua sovereignty kwenye mambo mengi sana. Kun, inaitwa kama kuna mwanasheria hapa inaitwa commercial exception to sovereignty. Commercial exception kama unataka uta, uh, sovereignty usifanye biashara na mtu yeyote dunia hii ukiamua the moment you decide kufanya biashara na watu wengine dunia duniani unavua some of your sovereignty huwezi uka claim kwamba tumefanya maamuzi haya kwa sababu sisi we are sovereign state utanyolewa bila maji na unategemea hii ni abc ya international law hii this is international law 101 Unategemea watu wanaojiita maprofesa wa kike au kile watajua. And they don't. They look like they are clever. 